Reading from Paul's first letter to the church in Thessalonica. Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in every situation, because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Don't suppress the spirit, don't brush off spirit-inspired messages, but examine everything carefully and hang on to what is good. Avoid every kind of evil. Now may the God of peace himself cause you to be completely dedicated to him, and may your spirit, soul, and body be kept intact and blameless at our Lord Jesus Christ's coming. The one who is calling you is faithful and will do this. Hello, I'm Taylor Croissant, an alumnus of St. Andrew's College in the class of 2014. How deep are you into the holiday chocolate at this point? I really don't have much of a sweet tooth, but I'm sure this year I've eaten more chocolate than I ever have at any point in my life. Early on in the pandemic, I got sidetracked in a Zoom call talking about what is uh, the best chocolate bar and ranking all of them. And wouldn't you know it, I went to the corner store for the next month afterward every day to test out all of my candy hypotheses. I don't think I've put on a full COVID-19 with stress eating, but I'm getting there. Paul urges us in the letter that we heard to embody our faith in spirit, soul, and body. Though he also says to give thanks in every situation. I guess I can be gracious then with my overeating in the midst of a global pandemic and be thankful that the worst that I've had to experience is just a few extra pounds. There are so many others who unfortunately have died or are grieving the loss of a loved one. I can also be thankful that the only thing that I need to do to resolve my problems is to jump on an exercise bike and make that my New Year's resolution. Friends, let's join together in prayer. Merciful God, show us safely through this time of trial. We rejoice and give thanks for all of the blessings that we have received in this challenging time. May we listen intently for the voice of your Holy Spirit and obey her guidance. We dedicate ourselves wholly to you, mind, body, heart, and spirit, until the advent of your coming again. In the name of Jesus, the Word made flesh, we pray.